Hey guys, guess where we're going today? No, it's not Disney. Jared and I are heading out for our trip to Las Vegas. I am finishing up some packing. My room is upside down. Um, yeah, so we're gonna finish that up. His parents came early to watch the babies. Cassie took the girls. So it's like everything worked out where we could leave a day earlier instead of a day later. So we're super excited to go. We are officially on the road. You excited? Oh yeah. So I had to get some, what is that called, sustenance? Yeah. Because he just got off work and I've been awake early with the babies. So we got us some um, Mountain Dew, Kickstarter, Cherry I think, or I think and then I got the watermelon. And then let me show you what's in the bag. I guess I could have just done that. So peanuts just to hold this over. And now we're gonna split this. We're not supposed to have sweets, but yeah. Official road food, junk food. And we're going to um, stop and eat at Baker at this, uh, it's in Baker, right? Yeah, Baker. It's a restaurant called The Mad Greek. I, we, that's one of our favorite places to eat and I'm so excited <laughs> to eat there because last time we stopped to eat there was we went to a concert to watch Tim McGraw and Faith Hill and I was uh, sick because I was pregnant with quads. I didn't know that then, but I, I knew I was pregnant, but I didn't know I was pregnant with quads and I was pretty uh, nauseous. So it's gonna be nice to go to Vegas, not be, not have morning sickness all day and just have a good, four times nauseous and just have a good time. So yeah, I'm really excited. What are these called, babe? Turbans. Wind turbines. No, is that the real name? Wind turbines? And what do they do? They make energy, right? Yeah, they make electricity. Electricity, not, yeah. Sorry guys, I'm not as smart as you guys think I am. <laughs> they look like birds. I know, from here they do. They look just like birds. Our first official sign that we're getting closer to Vegas. Jared, do you get excited when you see all these signs, these I, billboards, I yeah, mean? Yeah, I do. I admit it. All right, and we're only about 60 minutes away from the Mad Greek. Okay, we made it. We made it to the Mad Greek. This is what we got. It's called the gyro. I got it with French fries. You can also get it with rice. Gyro. I said it wrong. The jerk got the same thing, just the uh, with no onions. And then this is what you guys live for. It's called the cucumber sauce, right? And you put it inside the gyro. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is this is the stuff. Okay guys, this is called, we're getting ready to get on the road. It's so hot. It's nighttime and it's still, I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus, 107. Um, yeah, so this is called a pistachio baklava. I don't know if you guys ever had that, but Jared and I are gonna split this puppy. Um, yeah, cause we're gonna eat a lot of unhealthy food this weekend probably. <laughs> what is this thermometer called, Jared? world's largest therm thermometer. And it says 106. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. My camera's probably not gonna focus that way, but we are leaving Baker. We are going to... Las Vegas. Um, heading to Las Vegas. And I think that sign back there said 93 miles, right babe? Yeah, it's about 90 miles from here. But you guys, no, no joke, that uh, Mad Greek, try it out if you're ever heading to Vegas. Okay guys, we're about to pass state line. There's a Whiskey Pete's over there to your left, and I forget, what's the casino over here? Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. welcome to On your Nevada. right, welcome to Nevada, right there. We're in and we're crossing, Nevada. we're, oh, oh, are we there? Oh, yeah. I miss it. I thought it was once you get underneath that, this no, bridge. Sign, That's where it is. And there's some, I guess, an outlet mall. Oh yeah, we've been there before, huh, honey? Oh. I forgot. 
if that roller coaster is still going. Aw, oh, truck's blocking the view. There's Buffalo Bills. Yay, we made it to Nevada. We made it. We are staying at the Excalibur. Um, it's not the fanciest of all of these beautiful hotels here, but the backstory on Excalibur is Jared and I got married here. I always yeah. knew I wanted to get married in a castle. So, um, yeah, this is it. But we're here, we're tired. Hey guys, we made it to Excalibur. You ready to gamble, Jared? Oh yeah. Hey Jared, this looks like a fun pick opportunity. <laughs> Activities. Okay, we're getting to our room. I actually budgeted for a cheaper room, but they upgraded us to a nicer room. But unfortunately, I think I lost my room with the view. And that was just so we wouldn't check in and check out. Alright, this and this. Okay, guys. A ring. Oh. oh. There we go. Whew. Okay, here's our room. Oh, it's a little, uh, pretty big. That's nice. Wow. In case we have company over, I guess. Oh, that's our view. What's that guy? Robert Irvine? Oh. Parking lot. So not the fanciest, but it's something. Oh, we'll get to see the nice little train go by. Yes. So not bad. Like I was telling you guys, we had to, um, we originally, I booked a two night stay at a nice room with a view. But then tonight, since we decided to come last minute, um, I got a deal where it was, uh, um, what's it called? Sorry. I got a deal where the room was only like 40 bucks instead. So when we checked in, I told her, hey, we got a cheap room tonight and then the next two nights, I still gotta get a nice room with the view. And she said, do you just want a nice room? Um, it's a nice room, but it doesn't have a great view. Um, I won't charge you extra. I guess this is the nice room. Um, I won't charge you extra, but you're not going to get the one with the view, and that way you guys don't have to switch hotels back and forth. And Jared and I are so tired. <laughs> He's really tired. I think it just sounded good. So that way tomorrow morning we don't have to check out and then check back in, and we can go ahead and start our Las Vegas adventure. Right, babe? Adventure. <laughs> hey guys, so we're going to call it a night. Um, we were gonna go down to the casino, but we are so tired. So I just took my makeup off um, Somebody commented they I don't think this is important, but they said they could see like dark spots on my face um, I don't know about you other pregnant women I got really bad dark spots after I had the quads and it doesn't seem to go away So it's not a mustache it's not that I have dirt on my lip but yeah it's just some dark spots I can't get rid of and you guys can really see them when I have my makeup on so yes I'm sorry I'm not a supermodel but this is who I am but anyway okay we're gonna go ahead and call it a night and see all the fun we have tomorrow I think we're gonna try to go to the Venetian and something else I'm not sure all right good night <laughs>